Oh, this bacon is extra crispy. It's good though, right? That's how I like it. It's not even that cooked. Look, like, like that edge is just lightly brown. That's pretty burnt. No. Look at you want a bacon oh, yeah, when some. you pick it up, it holds its form. Look at that. <laughs> Held its form. I don't know who likes their bacon like that. Who? Comment below if you like your bacon <laughs> like this. <laughs> like a dead fish. Here you go, that <laughs> one's for you. <laughs> I'm gonna this need a little is, bit more. This is your what? You it, then it will be like this. No. It needs like another minute on that back end. Thanks for making the bacon. Comment below if you like your bacon. I'd call this lightly toasted. Look at that. That's perfectly toasted bacon has that crunch when you bite it the crunch this floppy dog okay so this good the kids is this I... good uh, a little bit more how is the that kids. any different than this because look at this, this piece so flexible look at that because it dries out look at they're the same color Honey. Look it. And now. Okay, go ahead, dry it out. I'm gonna let that pan sit because, well, because it needs to sit. And then, I don't know, we get ready. And so we can go to the beach. Let's go. Oh, sissy, what's your builder? I built a ducky house out of legs. Nice. How many can you fit in there? Uh, I think three can, but nice. I don't know if they... Do you think the ducky house will fit in your theater there? I don't know. No? Okay, you work on that. We're gonna go see what Duke's doing. Hey, what are you doing in here? Hey, did you get some snacks? Where did you find snacks? Oh, and you got a squeezy pack out. Oh my gosh. You are a busy guy. Hey, where'd you get the snacks? Oh boy, you need to put the snacks in your belly. Oh, hi. Hi, Russell. You cacawed me Smile. yesterday. I just put a piece of gum in my mouth. So when I cacawed <laughs> back, it sounded all weird. Like, yeah. <laughs> I just choked on it. Uh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> hey, put that food in your belly. Yeah, in the belly. Look at you got it all over your shirt now. All right, Mama, clean it up. All right. Yeah, yeah, why were you up so early this morning? I don't know. Neither do we. Mm -hmm. Why did you turn the light on? Because they were trying to find my doggy. Okay, but they were in your bed, right? Yeah, they were just in there, but they disappeared when they were under my blanket. Okay, but listen, at nighttime you don't ever turn those lights on. That'll wake everybody up. It so, didn't wake my brother. Yeah, this time it didn't, but I'm really surprised that it didn't. He usually wakes up to a lot of different things. So, yes, Mom? Okay. We are at the JC Park where the kids are now playing on their on the playground. I can't turn the camera on. Check this out. Blizzard? pretty big playground and on the other side of this there's actually a little splash pad and then behind us there's a little beach and a boat launch. It's really the perfect place for kids. We can't start with like we don't know what we're doing. Yeah we can't. Look at this. Oh, yeah. My hair is perfect. <laughs> oh my gosh. So we're going to talk about 
full-time RVing with kids. You won. You thought we should do a pros and cons. Yeah. So I think really our biggest pro is we wanted to be able to travel, but we didn't want to have to wait until our kids are 18. And I mean, we wanted to travel a lot at once rather than just like a week here, a week there. So that's why we chose this now rather than waiting for later. So. I think one of the biggest cons um, right now at our kid's age, especially Duke, our youngest one, is just the sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we had it's to... It's getting better. We had to swap out hit the couch that they were sleeping on. So we first tried a pack and play, and he just climbed out of that. Yeah. And then we tried the couch, and we tried a blow-up mattress on the floor, then we tried just sleeping with Grandma, and now he's finally... We had to build him a, a bed. Bunk bed. A bunk bed, yep. And then we put a link to the video above so you can actually check it out. And, uh... Yeah, he's finally sleeping now. Yeah, most for the of, most part. Most of the night. We also have a curtain. We put like a a curtain to block out our light from the inside. So, um, so like if we're watching TV or something, the stuff that leaks through that light, he doesn't see that light and think it's time to get up. So, other pro. <laughs> Getting a pick of pros. God, for kids being around. No, this is really great though. Yeah, you know, it is. Share like all the memories that we're making with them, I hope they remember them. <laughs> if not, they're documented, yeah. right? But um, things that, like right now, since we're from Michigan, and I'm not big on winter, I feel like we'd pretty much be in our old house a lot or going to our old church that had like a big indoor playground. That would be pretty much what we're doing right now. So, um, I think the other thing too is they just play outside a lot more here. Yeah, I mean, for sure. We're always outside. They're always playing. Getting exercise. Which, you know, the house that we lived at, you know, just like the front yard wasn't very usable. They make a lot of new friends. Um, some of the people that we've met, made friends with are actually uh, from Michigan. So even if we were to move back, you know, they'd still be close to some of these friends. Um, Mia's learned to ride a bike. Yeah, she's learned a lot of different things. She's learned to swim. Yeah. She's um, been swimming without her floaties on for a while now. And I don't think a lot of it would be possible at this time if we hadn't yeah. jumped to full-time RVing. I'd say the, the biggest struggle is because we're always so busy with them that they do get tired easily. So as any parent knows, like when your kid is tired, it can be harder, whiny. Um, <laughs> it can be tough sometimes when they're tired, that's for sure. But we lose our patience probably a lot more than we used to because we're what so a man? busy. But, what's up, honey? Duke wants you. Duke wants me? Oh, nice. Be oh. right back. Come here, Mia. Come here. Say hi. Hi. Do you love full-time RVing? Yeah. You love living in an RV? Yeah. Do you really? You, if you could choose our camper, our RV, or our house, what would you rather? Our house. What? You just said you loved RV. I love everything. <laughs> What's your favorite part? What's your favorite part about living in our camper? The, uh, the house. The house? Okay, I think you're confused. Would you rather live in our old house? Yeah. The one with the long driveway, or in our camper? In our camper. Okay, there we go. Now now we've connected the dots. What do you like about living on the in the camper? I don't know. Do you have a lot more fun in the camper? Yeah. Do you really? Do you love it? Nice. Hey, hi, dude. High five. Do you like living in the camper? You don't really remember what much else. What? You want to go play? Yeah, he loves. Okay, you go the, play. The camper's full of snacks. <laughs> this is our 50 snacks guy. <laughs> yeah, this is, that's his nickname, 50 snacks. <laughs> kind of like 50 cent. The what about traveling attitude. with the kids? Um, like over the road. <laughs> in the, you mean in the truck? So I think when we came down here, there was a big push just to yeah. get down here. Because when we left, it was 15 degrees in Michigan. And we hadn't, we just moved into our RV and, you know, we just, 
wanted to get to warmer weather, so we pushed hard to get here. Um, and that was rough on the kids. Well, and it was their first time kind of riding in the truck a lot, so yeah, it was a little bit of a struggle. But I think, I mean, we really have we haven't moved the camper since, but just, no. we've gone places that are two, three hours away and haven't had any issues. Maybe little issues, <laughs> but fixable ones. I'm watching. I'm a guy, so I can tune all that stuff yeah, out. Yeah, I feel like I have to cater to it a lot of times, but. Um, but yeah, so truck rides can be kind of long, um, like being in their car seats, but we, you know, with Amelia having to go potty or other, we're pretty much out of the truck pretty frequently, I feel like, when we're traveling. Or like here when we go to Fort Myers a lot, that's like about two hours, so um, I feel like they're getting better. They're definitely getting better in the car. And so when they're laughing and giggling and um, actually enjoying themselves in the car, it's a nice nice change of pace I would say so hopefully and I think the more we travel just the more they'll get used to it and also just keeping a lot of activities in the car for them has helped like little things they can do so what about socially they I feel like oh I was worried about that but I feel like um, well since we do have friends at the park that we're at right now I feel like that that hasn't been an issue and then like just coming to playgrounds and stuff um, well, even before, I think Amelia would be shy away from kids yeah. she didn't know, and now oh she'll gosh. go out to him and be like, hey, what's your name? Yeah, and play with them. And then, like, last night in the pool, they, yeah. she just, like, instantly connected with this little girl, and then they were having fun. So, I think socially, she's gotten out of her A lot her more box. interaction, yeah. especially because she, well, we didn't have her in daycare when we were at work we had grandmas so there wasn't really besides cousins there wasn't a ton of um, interaction with other kids so I think it actually has helped a lot which was something I was a little bit concerned about with traveling a lot but I think sleep for us is the biggest con with all of this yeah and you know the kids are gonna get older they're gonna sleep better um, they've already started sleeping better I mean do yeah. sleeping most most in time at night. Yeah. And ever since grandma's been gone this week, me has been up. <laughs> she like never gets up. She's our best sleeper. I think she's just scared in that dark room, but But yeah. It's all it's all learning. It's all yeah. experiencing. So I definitely say, well, what would you say? Is it definitely worth it? Oh yeah. If that was a hindrance well, I, think I think back of all the things you were nervous about. You were nervous that they weren't going to make friends, they'd be socially awkward. <laughs> um, they just wouldn't have a normal childhood experience. I mean, looking back now, if you could give yourself advice. Yeah, they just take the jump. I mean, we had to try it. Do it. To figure it out. And one thing too, I don't think we really talked about much on this channel was like for us the biggest reason we did this is we heard a quote from keep your daydream who's another full-time family um, their I, kids are a little older they have and actually kids. since they've started i think two of their kids have now gone off to college um, it was a quote that said you only get 18 summers with your kids and that really hit us pretty hard because they're like man me is three so now we're down to 15. And really, the last three summers, who even knows if she'll want to be at home? <laughs> right. Out working like out when she's friends, 15, 16, know. 17, 18. So yeah. that leaves even less. But so, and we just want to have a, um, enjoy this time with our kids. So, although most days it's, I shouldn't say most days, some days it can be a struggle and our patience most runs days are be I should say most. Wow. It's not most. It's, it's, some and it's getting even better but um yeah i think definitely glad we did it yeah i agree we definitely can't wait till we start moving around we're leaving in three weeks and we're gonna start heading out west and we're really excited um to start really seeing the country so yeah, that's when a lot more struggles will start arising possibly <laughs> possibly but yeah, because we got here in December, or no, end of November. Yeah, end of Last November. week of November, right after yeah. Thanksgiving, and 
Dude, all December I was ready to go. I wanted to hit the yeah, road. But it was too cold everywhere else, right? It was cold everywhere. And then you had that last month in February. Yeah. Holly I'm, wanted to leave. She I'm wanted, ready. She wanted to go right now. I'm, get, I'm getting, getting ready. Anyways, if anybody is thinking about taking the leap with their kids, um, and being little, I would say even if you can only do it for a year or a few months, like through the summer, I would definitely do it. Um, just the experience you get with your kids and the different things we've been able to see, the people we've been able to meet. We've met some really awesome people along the road. So, oh yeah, yeah. And we've had a lot of friend, or we've had friends and family even come visit us a decent amount too. So that's been awesome. Yeah, next week. Isn't next week, your uh, mom. This couple days. No. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a couple days. My parents are coming. Again. So. Again. Hi, mom. <laughs> Hi, dad. <laughs> so, anyway. See you in a couple days. Yeah, in a couple days. So, anyways, um, yeah. So I think um, definitely take that leap. Do it. You don't know what you're gonna miss if you don't try it. So. Even winters without snow is amazing yeah our first yeah for sure so cool so, anyways what are we gonna do now now we're either gonna go to the beach or we're gonna go get some lunch let's do that <laughs> the beach is right behind us so we will see where next leads us all right see you on the flip side we'll start here <laughs> Let's see, do you like the lemon? Do you like it? Belly full? No. no. Uh oh. Get our rig after our nice day trip. Um, we had a great time today at the park and um, having dinner, and then back here. We ended up not going to the beach just because the kids wanted to play so much at the playground, which is no big deal because they were happy and we were happy. So, um. We, the kids just had ice cream and they thoroughly enjoyed it. So if you guys would like to see more of our videos, we'd love to hear from you. If you could hit the like button below and the subscribe button, um, we're going to have a bunch of more adventures coming up soon as we start heading out west here in a couple weeks. Um, so we'd love to hear from you guys. Do you have any questions or anything like that on um, our traveling experience? All right. We hope to talk to you guys soon.